Psalms 121 verse 7. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil, and he shall preserve thy soul. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to the heavenly Father's own begotten Son, Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakhabadash. The bonders to our apostles and elders, the great millstone, teach us his truth. According to the Bible and rule well, and those shall long order sincere Achiams. Throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth through diligence and sincerity and in charity. And in those shall long all you sincere followers, believers of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Not just heroes of the word, but doers as well. You men, women, and children, the hopefully elect shall And, um, I mean, just, we have no worries, man. As you see here on the screens, that sometimes you don't even realize what the world calls God. Real name is Yahweh. In ancient Hebrew, which means he is, he exists to be, it says it's doing for you. And that's, 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 that's real, man. You know, throughout our daily walks, <coughs> Throughout our daily walks in this uh, this hell, this captivity that we're up under, we don't even realize how much the Lord is 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 uh, uh, protecting us, preserving us from all types of evil. All right, this is Psalms one twenty one. The Lord Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai shall preserve thee. When you preserve something, you're keeping it. Uh, you keeping that? Let's get that that definition of preserve. All right. Let's see here. It's not giving me what I want. Let me look it up somewhere else. Preserve. So I can preserve. It gave me deserve, not preserve. P. All right, Slakia it says to maintain something in its original or existing state, right? Not to be destroyed. Some of the synonyms says protected, maintain, take care of, look after, save. Right? So the Lord saves us each and every day. <coughs> All right, and we just have no clue what from. <coughs> you may be a. Uh, you may have woken up uh, 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 late for work, you know, and you're trying to, uh, you know, get there on time. And, you know, there is a there was an accident. Right. And the Lord made sure you, he didn't wake you up yet. All right. Because that accident could have been for you. Right. I'm just naming an example, not the best example, but, you know, you should get what I'm saying. So the Lord's going to preserve all right, <clears throat> protect, save, take care of, look after, keep. So back in Psalms 121 and 8 says, The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from time, from this time forth and forevermore. So those will always be there for us. All right, protecting us um, around every corner, as you see here on this picture. All right, let's grab one last one, wrap it up. Just something, uh, a little exhortation. You know, no matter what we're going through, body ailments or, you know, things in this in this in this current uh, world. All right, the Lord is protecting us, man. The Lord is protecting us. Psalms thirty-four. All right, it says six. This poor man crieth. <coughs> the poor is talking about the poor of our people. All right, the Israelites, the so-called Negro Latino Native Americans, all right, the elect, all right, because remember the scripture says, set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof, all right, Ezekiel, the ninth chapter, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles, right, because we realize we're in trouble. That's why we're seeking the Lord, turning back, all right, and hoping that the Lord has mercy, and the Lord is having mercy. Someone has to receive the mercy, man. Right? Verse 7. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivered them. And that's what it's about. 
fearing the Lord. If you fearing the Lord, don't 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 walk around with your head down, right? Don't be upset because the world has turned their back on you. That's supposed to happen, all right. But when these tough times come, when these tough times hit, all right, yeah, how about Shemuel Shah is gonna protect you and save you? Look, he's doing it now. <coughs> we just don't realize it, man. These spiritual uh, 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 attacks that come, that try to come, all right. And the Lord's protecting us through all of it, man. And he's going to continue as long as we continue to fear. Fear is part of the motivator, man. All right? So, you know, hopefully this lesson was edifying, uplifting. You know, um, no matter what you're going through, the Lord is always protecting us, man. You know, sit back and think about it. Take time out of your day. You know? And just think about it. You know, Lord willing, that's what's edifying. Till next time I say, Shalom.